Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and I am here to react to Riverdale Season 4, Episode 5. Yes, Episode 5. Okay, um, I'm excited to see what happens. The ending with Jughead, I... Mm, there's gotta be some kind of twist. It's Riverdale. Somehow there, it's gonna be something ridiculous, like it's a fake body, it's not real or something. Or he has a twin, somehow. Evil twin. It's Riverdale. Little anything could happen. I doubt Jughead's really dead. I don't believe it. Don't believe it at all. But here we go. And I and I think they're leaning, trying to make you think that Brett is the one who did it. Trying to make him all evil and everything. He's just some evil preppy kid who I weirdly am finding attractive. But I don't think he's the one. That's, it's going to be something else. It's going to be some twist. We'll see. Jughead's the one that killed Jughead. Evil twin. Chugging killed him. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Conspiracy to commit murder. Your own husband. Are we gonna finally see Hermione? I'm it's been a while. Behind. I don't know. I'm gonna need a mask. Why does Archie want to be a hero so much? Crime fighter by night. Trolling the shadows of Sketch Alley. This is like a bad episode of like the first episodes of Arrow or something. I like her. Middle five seconds. I like her. Cruising the bathrooms at Sheds and Royal. Perfect. Then you can join me for my first junior FBI class. The one that your hot hot brother's teaching? Yes. Gay FBI agent in training. I'm in. When and where? <laughs> it seems like the district attorney is putting her entire case on linking you to Hiram's work. Same thing as when you drugged me, Donna. Except this time I actually found something. Did she can explain the herself? Floor is supposed to be an herb for a treat. They don't fuck that. She's texting. That could be anyone. That was in what, decades ago? How's that possible? I'm merely the latest in a long line of ghostwriters over the decades. It's blown. Mr. Chipping, I used to love these books when I was a kid. They were my right, gateway face drug into serious crime fiction. <laughs> oh, then you're in luck to celebrate the publication of Ten Little Boy Scouts Stonewall for Ghostwriters. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't worry, Pop. I'm not gonna let you get caught up in this. Oh, Pops. Just when I thought you couldn't possibly go any lower. Serial killers. Half brother is so hot. So I put together a little. I would love to see Kevin and Charles. Like, this is a crime it, scene. Get it Six on. victims were found buried. Oh, I could get robbed. Oh, I feel weird now. And before I start filling in all the. It's the third man. That's correct, Betty. How did you know that? I don't know. Just my intuition. Okay, then. Let's try another one. It's the one in the middle. Again. Your intuition is like a sixth sense. <laughs> Let's go again. That's cool. She has a sixth sense that serious is. Right, this episode might be coming back up to my good standing. Nothing. He's already been Isn't really funny and cute. Actually, they all have one thing in common. A specific set of genes. Oh, that she has two. That's why she can know which one's which. It's her superpower. Now she can fight crime. <laughs> You see my Baxter brothers burned? Uh, I might have thrown them away. <coughs> you threw away my books? Right, calm down, boy. Before you accuse me of book burning, why don't you check the storage room in the basement? Uh, my dad used to get me one of these each year. Like hey, Dad, why'd you stop? <laughs> Something's up. Think about those books. Was his grandfather? Did he write those books? Or were they about his family in some way? Connected to the books? No. Jones, what's up? Someone's trying to sleep. Ooh, right in boxes. <laughs> Why do I like bread? Oh, it's awful. Mm. 
his dad with a pick. With like a Ford. It was a very bad paint job. He just went like the blue and then into the white. Come on. You're messing it up. Class, this is Francis Jaglin P. Paxton. Francis, this is Brett, Joan, Jonathan, Donna, and Jughead. Jughead? Is that a nickname? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir, it is. And it's an honor to meet you. I didn't have to be a good This would be me if I met Stephen your King. Books really helped me through it. Same group of students that I've ever taught. Wait, if they really? tell them his real name. Well, there's the successor we'll amongst reaction. us then. Successor for what? Chipping has written the last. And you're going to pick one of us? Keep it in your pants, Joe. <laughs> Every Baxter Brothers author, beginning with Mr. DuPont himself, has gone to the Stonewall print line for the rest of it. Well, obviously, I'm winning this. Is there any particular style or subject area? <sighs> we have not yet decided on a theme. But He's so confident. Out. I think that's why I kind of like that. He's very cocky. Think about cocky guys. He's got good hair too. Cooper, like a man in uniform. It's just the track of death. Oh, she does have the jeans. All good. Nothing to worry about. I don't have the jeans. See, I told you. Oh, why are you lying? You know, I realized the main four characters—they never hang out like together anymore. What the heck happened? They never put them together, especially they never put Veronica and Jughead or um, Betty and Archie together. It's like they don't want people to ship them or something. So they're just not going to put them near each other. And one of you kids is going to be dead soon or shot, injured. Those are one thing dumb we answers. see a lot of serial killer dogs when he was in grade school. Ian Brady, infamous Has Moore's murderer, killed his first cat when he was 10. all the dark. Arrived at the cabin alone. Kevin figured out you could do it. He got violent and fired on his way to the hospital. And later, Expired. when you searched Paul Boy's motel room, did you find her mind your witness counselor? Who's this? The cabin where you claim to have shot Tall Boy. Do you know? Hiram. No. Hermione. Poor Veronica. Hermione Lodge. He put it her name under. I really love this school though. Like it looks really cool. Forsyth. Excuse me, Mr. Pont. Do you know my grandfather? Forsyth Jones. First. I feel like this has been building up Betty's storyline about being having the gene and kind of being a little bit dark and creepy since, like, season one, episode one. And nothing's really come of it until now. And I'm loving that it finally happened. Betty, are you okay? Doc Betty. What are you doing? That's some dream to have, Betty. She's starting to remember the things she did. Mm. It was the best day of my life when he skipped out on us. So do I want to hear about what a great writer he was back in high school? No. I'll go with my man next week. Have fun. Wow. Not so bad, Becky. Whoever picks murderer is to walk amongst us. Okay, I played a game similar to this. If you kill the planet, what the hell? So this is what one percenters do for fun. They play murder. Huh? <laughs> oh, by the way, wicked Jones. I should. Yeah, go on, man. Yeah, let me die in peace. <laughs> Down to the wire, boys. <clears throat> it's Jughead. He's the murderer. Yeah, because I just killed you. No, I knew it was him beforehand. I win. 
I'm sorry, Brad. I can't hear you because you're dead. No, I'm not. I, 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 voice, voice. Let's let's be men about this. It's clear that Jughead Jones won the game fair yeah. and square and won me for me. Fred Fletcher sold it. Yeah. He's going to get revenge of some sort. Just know it. Yeah, he's been busy with work. Childhood diaries of serial killers we can gain in I wonder if Charles is doing this on purpose to get to her. Because he knows. Or maybe he just doesn't know at all and it's just coincidence. Wow, that's a lot of journeys. Who is this woman? She kind of looks like a lodge. She looks like she could be related to Veronica. And there's more. He's looking really good though. His hair is like perfect Something right now. That I think I may have went to get my dad for help. And he took me back outside. Caramel is your cat, Lady. You need to take care of this. He handed me a rock. God. But then this means you didn't really choose to do it. This wasn't your idea. So it can't really be her fault as much. Her dad kind of made her do it. And she was dying, so. It's not the same as her just choosing to kill the cat who was healthy and fine. Patty, that wasn't you. That was your being a little too intense right now. I think we should maybe consider withdrawing. 